guys, Brooke here, and today I'm here with Milana. Milana. And Milana, you had the cutest idea. What are we going to draw? Three little pigs. The three little pigs. We're going to make it one pig that turns into three. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. First, we're going to take the top. Now you'll hold the bottom so it doesn't mess up. So we take the top and we're gonna fold it down. And you wanna carefully try to line up the corners. Good. And I put one finger in the middle, start in the middle, and then you slide out. Good. Now we're gonna just take the top piece. We're gonna fold it up. Line up the corners. Is that, that looks pretty lined up to me. That's okay. There you go. Perfect. Flip it over. We're going to do one more. Fold it up. It's a little burrito. No, oh, that looks like one. Line up your corners. And smooth it out. Smooth, 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 it smooth, out. smooth, 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 smooth. Open it up so it has two mountains. Put your hand on this mountain. Fold the top down. Oh yeah. Now you may have your pin back. Thank you. We're going to find the middle of your paper. Now very carefully, we're gonna draw. I want it to touch basically the bottom of this, but not touch the bottom. Like it stays up here. And we're gonna do a long smiley face. It goes right along it. Take it over, 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 and up, good. Okay. Now we're gonna keep it going out and up. Same thing on the other side, take it out a little further Looks like and then curve it up. Perfect. Looks like a little marshmallow on the top. Now I want to make sure that we have plenty of room in the middle for the eyes and the nose and the mouth and all that stuff. So right here, mm -hmm. we're going to start and we're going to do a nice big, big circle. In right in the middle. Inside that circle, we're going to do some two very tall and skinny ovals. It's the snout. It's the snout. All right, now from this side, kind of right above this oval, I'm going to draw a mountain coming out. Or a rainbow without the other colors. Same thing on the other side. Now over on this side, I want to take this and bring it almost straight up. Nice and high. All right, over on this side, same thing. We're gonna bring it up to the same height as the other side, matching it. It just goes up and in a little bit. Yeah, like right there. There we go. Now I'm going to do a little diagonal in. Same thing on the other side, a little diagonal in. And I'm gonna do a little mountain coming across. And mine goes a little longer on each side. There you go. He's super cute. <laughs> he is cute, right? Yeah. Now underneath his nose, we're gonna do a crooked smile. So we're gonna start under our oval on this side, and I'm gonna curve all the way up by the nose on that side. There you go. You. And on this side, we're gonna do a little U. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna draw 
a little diagonal coming down. I still haven't crossed over. And on this side, it's gonna be different. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna draw a little diagonal going up. This is here, uh, It will be. Now, this side we're gonna now cross over to the bottom and we're gonna continue it down at a diagonal. I want to come right here under this side of his face. I'm going to make a little dot. And on this side, I'm going to make a little dot. It needs to be a little space for his arm to have some room. Now, what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to do a big... You, that's almost like a circle that doesn't finish. Over here, we're going to make a little hoof. So we're going to tiny diagonal up with a small diagonal going down. And then we're just going to draw a little short line that doesn't touch. From here, we're gonna draw another U that's gonna be the bottom of his belly, because this is like the light part, and this is the bottom of his body. This is the dark part. And I'm gonna bring mine all the way over so it's even with that side. Good. All right, now over on this side, I'm gonna draw diagonal down. Diagonal up. And I'm going to draw his arm coming down right to the edge of the paper. From there, I'm going to connect it to the side of his belly. Looks good. You can add this more if you want. There. All right, right up here, very close to the bottom of your V, we're just going to draw a little line across. Over here, same thing, a line across. Now I'm going to bring this belly up just a little higher. There we go. That looks good. Then down here at the bottom, I'm going to have one leg that's out here by the edge of this U. I'm just going to draw a line going straight down. Doesn't have to be too long. That's good. And we're going to draw our upside down V, diagonal up, diagonal down, and then attach it back up to his belly. Right above that point, we're going to draw a line straight across. Same thing on the other side. I'm using this U as my marker and I'm going to draw it the same length as this one so they're about the same length. Diagonal in, diagonal down, and attach to his body. Right above our little V, line straight across. Good. Adorable. He's cute. And now we go like this. Oh no. What happened to his body? Yeah, exactly. What happened? He's gone. All right, so down here, we're going to take this little line right here, and we're going to take it up above our curved line. Just make it go straight up from where it is, go up and above. There you go. And decapitated. Perfect. Same thing on this side. We're going to bring it just a little bit above that line. And from one side to the other, we're going to make a long skinny U, or long wide U, that stays above our, dot, our little fold line. Perfect. Now over here on this side, I'm going to come out and in. Well, not in, just out and up, sorry. 
Perfect. Same thing on the other side, out and up. I like how it just starts with the marshmallow head. It does, huh? Mm -hmm. Now in the middle, a little ways up, so we have room for our mouth, right towards the middle of our, what would be kind of a circle-ish, we're gonna draw our big nose. Humongous nose. We're gonna draw two skinny ovals in the middle of that nose. And this time, we're gonna draw and over a mouth. He's like, oh. And on this side, we're gonna draw a little sideways flat mountain. It's not too high. And we're gonna draw another little curve line coming at the top and a short curve line coming out the bottom. Over on the other side, <laughs> We're gonna draw a flat curved line, not too big of a mountain, more of a curve. And then above it, we're gonna draw a circle. And inside that circle, we're gonna draw a little circle up in the corner. A little bit circle. Perfect. Good, now from here, we're gonna draw a line coming up. I made mine separate, so it looks like a little cheek over here. Other side, I made this one kind of like a backward C. It's got some good curve to it. So on this side, we can do this part. We're gonna do a curved line coming in, but don't touch the eye. And then we're going to do a flat, little mountain coming over and stop. Perfect. And then from there, we're going to from here just curve it down and attach. Good. Now over here we need to do his arm. So what we're going to do from his face, this time we're going to go just a tiny bit over. Stop. And then we're going to just do a little curve up. Now we're gonna do our V going down and up. And this line's going to come down and it's gonna be longer than that line. Now, we wanna attach it above the line, okay? So right here, above the line, I'm attaching it. And right below our V, we just need a straight line across. So he's waving. He's like, kind of like, oh, they got me. Now right here on his head, we're gonna draw an upside down V. Triangle. Then we're gonna draw a straight line going up on each side. It's not very long. This is gonna be the middle pig, it's gonna be his uh, leg. So right above our point, we're gonna draw a straight line across. Now over here, we're gonna draw a curved line going over and up. Right below the end, like I'm leaving a little bit above it. I'm gonna draw a line going almost straight sideways not too long, this is another leg. So about as long as your other leg, a little more, a little more, about right there. Now we're gonna do a sideways V. So we go this way, we go back out, and then we just attach it in. And then we draw the line. You got it, then we draw the line. That All right, sense. now right here, I'm going to curve this over, and I don't want it to go too high because we have a whole nother pig to do up on top. So curve it over. Towards me, towards me, towards me. Like a C, like a big C. And then we're going to bring it way over like that.
Now we're gonna get crazy. Take your paper and turn it. So his leg is down here. And then up here. Oh, he's a crazy pig. I want you to draw his arm going this way. It's a crazy pig. And we're gonna do our V. And we're gonna bring it back, but it doesn't attach. It comes right next to it, right here. Down to the lower, lower, perfect. Add your little line, yeah. boop. Okay. And right here, we're gonna do just a tiny little line. It looks like a potato with three legs. And we're gonna go mm -hmm. with a U that goes sideways. Well, like our paper is sideways. Good. I'm gonna curve up my sides a little higher. And I'm gonna draw right in the middle. The snout. The snout. And I made his kind of a fat snout. Who's the crazy one? Crazy. We're gonna do an oval. An oval. And, and another oval. oval. And we're gonna draw His smile is going to be kind of like a normal smile. And then gonna underneath, <laughs> we're going to draw another bigger smile and just a little mountain inside. Okay. Over on this side, we're just going to draw a U. And let's do one on both sides, another U. All right, we're gonna do his eyes kind of like this one. So over here, we're just gonna take a line going out. Other side, same thing, line going out. We're gonna do our circle that touches back. Same thing on the other side, try to match it about the same size. And then up in the corner, a circle and a circle. Crazy. Good. Now I'm going to take this straight up, same thing on the other side, straight up about the same height. I'm going to curve it in, do the same thing on the other side, curve it in, and, then, and draw a little mountain going straight across. Where's his other hand? So right here, right below his little mouth part right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw another hand touching the ear. And then let's come over by this foot. We're going to draw this line. And now we're going to do our V, upside down V. We can turn the paper if you want. And then do your V. And then, and then I'm just gonna attach. Just attach it right there, good. And then draw your little line across. Yay. Yay. There he is, he's sideways, he's funny. All right, now, right here on the belly, we're gonna draw our upside down V. All right, he's gonna be a very short and fat one because <laughs> I'm running out of room. So his leg's just gonna be pretty little. But enough that we can do that. Yeah, there you go. Just a little top up. Now this U is gonna be very flat and wide. Put him on like a magic All right, show. so 
right here where it's connected, we're going to draw a C that attaches his belly. Good. Now on this side, we're going to continue this diagonal for his arm. Oh, I totally forgot he didn't have another arm. <laughs> then we're going to do our upside down V. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to draw it coming in and stopping. More, 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 and stop. And then we're just going to attach this part. We're going to circle it up and attach it to the arm. Yeah. All right, now over here on this side, we're going to draw a line coming straight out. You're forgetting something. Make that the top of yours. Oh, we did the forget line. that. So I'm going to do, well, actually, yours could be a little Do your V sideways this time. And then attach it in. This is his last leg. And, you and need to add the line. Add the line. And you're right, I need to add another line. Yay. All right, we're almost done. They need clothes. So down here, <laughs> well, <laughs> they're going to be naked, but this one right here, we're going to go ahead and attach this up. Same thing on the other side. We're going to attach it up to the head. Attach, attach. So attach, now, attach. go ahead and fold it down. Wait. And look, right where it attaches, I have to attach it here. I have to attach it here. Yay. Wait, open it up. See where those lines are? Those lines, oh, got it. So those lines you're gonna use to make his belly. So you start on this side, you come down nice and low, and you attach back to the exact same spot so it matches on both hips. Now, do you want to give him a belly or leave him how he is? A belly. <laughs> All right, so turn your paper. And right here, we're going to start up on his chin. And we're just going to give him a belly, too. I'm going to make... There we go. And there we have our three little pigs. Let me see your one pig. Let me see your three pigs. Three pigs. I have a question for you, Milana. Yes. Are you ready to color? Yeah! Are you ready to show them our final drawing? Yes. All right, ready? Count me down. Three, two, one. There's our cute pig, pig number one. And what, is, what do we do? We're going to open it up? Open it up. And there's our surprise. Perfect. Yeah. That was such a fun idea. I love it. I got the party hat and the rolled in. He rolled in paint. <laughs> he does look like he rolled in paint. He turned turquoise and purple. And I love the party hat, that's so cute. <laughs> All right, Milana, did you have fun? Yes. That is the most important thing. All right, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to come back for more How to Draw. Bye. Bye.